What's going on everybody? Fetter here from 3D Print SOS. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to be gluing myself back together from all of this Hyper PLA by Creality. So the story with this is Creality came out and did a scan of me, of my full body with the CR Scan Ferro Pro. And stay until the very end where I'll be giving this very scanner away to one of you lucky winners. Uh, but they did a, a scan instead of uh, printing me as a little figurine, uh, kind of like Sam Prenta style, I decided to go one to one. Why not? We have a Creality K1 Max that has a 300 by 300 by 300 print area. Uh, I requested all of this PLA to try to uh, make sure that we uh, stick with realistic colors of my shirt, my shorts, uh, things of that nature. And then we covered my entire floor with all of these prints over quite a long span. So what I want to do is glue myself together using this stuff. This is 3D Gloop, the PLA version. Thank you, Andrew, very much for sending this over. I'm really excited to use this premium product on this awesome project. So I'm going to grab my helper over here and we're going to get started. We're going to start with the bottom, uh, do my shoes, the feet, uh, go into the shorts, so on and so forth and see how it goes, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. So, what did we do? We finished him. Yeah, he's done. That's pretty crazy. There were so many pieces and now it's just another me standing here. Is that weird? Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And, and we almost finished two whole bottles of the gloop. That's right. Yeah, we have a little bit less than half of one bottle left. And technically, I probably should have used more on some bits and pieces there. But I'm pretty happy with it. Now, the main parts I still left unglued, like the shirt from the pants, the pants from the legs, uh, the head, all that's unglued. And I kind of want to use... Velcro. Velcro. For the arms. Yeah. And we added two accessories on him. Don't, for... don't bump him. You better not, you better not bump him. I won't. <laughs> um, so we added some glasses. Yeah. And then on the arm, when one day when I was home from school, he's got a little bracelet he's gonna be wearing. Yeah, I made it, and it kind of matches his outfit, so perfect. So, pretty interesting having a clone. Um, he is just a hair taller than me because he's got shoes on, and I'm barefoot here. But pretty amazing. The quality is pretty good. There are some seams that are just inevitable when you're printing a bunch of uh flat to flat pieces here but it looks really good and the first impression is just kind of insane um one of the reasons why the arms aren't glued and the shirt is not glued to the pants for example is that i want to be able to put on different shirts that i have hanging right over there so the different shirts that i design i'm hoping i'd be able to drape over that i'm not sure if that's actually going to work or not but 
we'll play around. Did you have fun gluing this guy together? Yeah, and we decided on Halloween we might put him in a costume <laughs> and put him in the window. Don't give away all of our secrets. All right, I got to get off the camera before <laughs> she gives away all of my trade secrets here. All right, montage time. Enjoy. All right, first, let's talk about the Creality K1 Max. This thing has been an absolute workhorse throughout this project, and you gotta keep in mind that I had this thing for many months before even starting this, and I counted up the spools. I did a total of 16 spools for this project. Admittedly, the black spool is not all the way used, so you can say about 15 and a half, but a total of 16 spools have seen this machine for this project, and I technically only had four print failures. They were mostly due to filament, which I'll go over later, but I did have one major issue, and that's why this thing is upside down, and you see this red uh, piece right over here. I actually had a motherboard failure happen on this machine. I came home, the thing was making a whole lot of noise, and the movement was just completely off on the machine. A code was popping up uh, on the screen. I sent the Creality a message with that code. They eventually got back to me after a couple of days, uh, and they explained that, hey, that's a common problem that we had with the very early machine machines because you got to remember I got this machine really early along with the original K1 and essentially there is a screw on uh, on the fan to the motherboard that eventually after vibrations and time and flexing touches a, a fin on the motherboard and it shorts out the driver and that is fixed in all of the most recent machines and all the new iterations of these things and there is a fan uh, modification on printables I'll have that link down below if you guys are interested uh, where you can do it to yours and it's a very easy mod uh, I printed mine in a ABS on the machine itself and now this is fixed and has a new motherboard and no more uh, failure since then. Going back to the print failures, I did have uh, also the earlier spools of the, the Hyper PLA that I used and some of the earlier spools had carbon buildup on them, especially the blue filament and it had these little black dots essentially that would clog your filament. Unfortunately for me, uh, on all the failures that happened towards the top of the big prints, so I did have to get some extra spools to be able to finish this project. Some of you guys that are following this along might know. But once again, Creality mentioned that that was the earlier uh, filament when they first released this line, and I was just lucky enough to get those. So apparently all that stuff is fixed. They went down to even uh, you know uh, having me read the numbers on each spool so they can confirm that that's what the problem was because they were seeing it somewhere else. So they definitely, service-wise, met exactly what I expected from them and took care of the two issues that I had. So the Creality K1 Max, a 300 by 300 build volume, man, it's just fantastic. Now, as far as the print quality goes, you guys might be seeing some gaps uh, that I've encountered in the prints. And now these are almost full 300 by 300 by 300 pieces. And with that size, with PLA going really fast, you're bound to have some inaccuracies. And they don't have notches necessarily, they're just big flat pieces that are gluing together. There's just some gaps. I personally don't mind because it's just how big this project is, but if this was something smaller that needed the precision, I might uh, be reprinting some of those pieces for sure. But as you can see, it's not all bad. Uh, the quality is definitely uh, really, really great, especially in person. Just the way the lights in this room, I have a ton of light in here. So just the way that it hits some of these things make them look a little bit worse on camera than they are in real life. For example, the, all the brown, the shorts, uh, came out just so, so, so smooth. Uh, they almost look like chocolate in a way. Just awesome quality uh, from all of these pieces. 
The next thing I want to talk about is the 3D gloop that I use to glue these things together. This one specifically is the PLA variety and I highly, highly suggest anyone that's tackling something like this to try to go with something like this, if not this exactly, because this stuff gave me the time that I needed to kind of adjust things, move them where they need to, and then hold it together for a few seconds and you can kind of already, while you're moving the pieces together, it kind of gr uh, grabs and then you know it is solid. After a few minutes, you're not getting those pieces apart they're literally fused together so that's why you saw that I was putting some tape on pieces to hold together I had my helper put those on as well and that just kept everything together without moving and this stuff was just amazing I did go through uh, basically uh, both of the bottles I have maybe a little bit less than a quarter like an eighth left in this one so if you're looking for something this big two of these is at least something that you would need each one of these is 120 milliliters for reference and and uh, Andrew, uh, who sent me this, I'll thank you, Andrew, very much from 3D Gloop, uh, thought that I'll probably need more. But what I did was I ended up just putting some dabs on the corners and then in the center. I didn't go all the way everywhere and all the pieces I'm very happy with. They, they are solid. I think that if I drop them, it's not going to break at the, the part where the glue is. It's going to break uh, somewhere outside, just like I did with that one pant leg that I dropped the entire head on. So outside of that, for the project, what I tried to do is I tried to keep the hands or the arms uh, detachable so that I can put shirts on him and mostly wear my merch in the back of the room, things of that nature. But outside of that, I am so, so happy with all of it. 3D Gloop, the K1, the, uh, the Creality uh, Hyper Series Filament, the scanner did a fantastic job. What a fun project. All right, back to the desk. So I'm so happy with the end of this project. I'm so uh, happy that this guy is standing here instead of laying on my floor. As you guys might have seen in some of my videos or live streams, he was just completely in the way. So I'm very excited to have him here. He's gonna be in the back of the studio. I'm also gonna terrorize my family with this thing because this has got to be both the most weird and coolest project I've ever done at the same time. Outside of this though, I talked about you guys potentially winning the Ferret Pro Scanner and the channel has finally hit 20,000 uh, subscribers. Thank you very much. So with that, I'm going to be giving away this and a whole bunch of other stuff. A whole bunch of uh, people came through, a whole bunch of companies came through. So you guys are going to be getting a, a whole bunch of stuff, not just the scanner, but also filaments and 3D printers and all kinds of components, things of that nature. So keep your eyes peeled for a giveaway announcement. The best place probably is to be obviously in the community tab uh, of YouTube, but mostly the Discord channel. That's where all the announcements are, the giveaways, etc, etc, etc. So I suggest you guys join that. It is a free community and free to be also uh, please join my Patreon or at least consider. And if you guys want to see some cool merch, maybe not just stuff with my logo on it, but other 3D print related stuff, check out shop.3dprintsos.com. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below what you like, what you don't like. Maybe you hate this thing. I don't know. Maybe you might think it's cool. Let me know down below. If you guys have any questions about doing a project such as this, I would really appreciate it. And as always, there's going to be links down below if you guys are interested in purchasing any of the things that I used here, whether it's a Ferro Pro like this or the Creality K1 Max or the 3D Gloop or even just the filament that I used here for this project. Please go ahead and use those affiliate links. They will help the channel out dramatically and they don't cost you a dime. All right. As always, guys. I'll see you down in the comments. Later.